So which is the best 40cc chainsaw? Is it still? Is it Husqvarna? Is it Echo? Or is it an unknown brand? Should you spend lots on a chainsaw or only spend a little on a chainsaw? Well, in this video, we are going to find out. So let's bang them together and crack on. What do you say, man? Finish that before we finish ours? I know. I don't know what he's playing at, really. We will assess the cost, weight, RPM, fuel consumption, starting capability, and of course, cutting performance. Let the battle commence. Representing Germany, we have the high end domestic still MS231. Representing Sweden, we have the mid range Husqvarna 440. Representing Japan, the professional Echo CS4310 SX. And from China, a budget unknown brand saw from a DIY store. So the specs in order of cost. The DIY store chainsaw is 40 cc, it's come with a 14 inch bar and a 3 inch chain. Weighs 5.1 kilo and costs 84 pounds. The Husqvarna 440 chainsaw is 40.9 cc, comes with a 15 inch bar and a 0.325 chain. Weighs 4.2 kilos and costs 389 pounds. So it has the largest bar here today, so it will make it interesting against the others. The still MS231 chainsaw is a 42.6cc and it comes with a 14 inch bar and a 3H chain and it weighs in just at 4.8 kilograms, costing £453. And yes, the Echo CS4310SX chainsaw is 42.9cc and comes with a 13 inch bar and 325 chain. Weighs just 4.3 kilos and costs £644, making it the best power to weight ratio saw we have here, but also with the smallest bar. Please pause the video if you'd like to view these specs up close. So an interesting furnace, all these four saws are brand new, come with a brand new bar, brand new chain, and they're all running Aspen 2 Alkalite fuel. So the first test is going to be starting. Yes, I'm going to start all of these saws. They've not been started before, they're straight out the box. So we're going to start them and then we're going to let them warm up and bed in a little bit before we do some cutting. Oh yeah, we're going to make sure they're all cold. See, all the exhausts are cold. I have not started these saws yet. Let's crack on. Oh, first up then, pull the choke out, prime it. Prime, get some fuel through. Let's pull it into the start. Oh, we've got a cough. Choke in now. Oh, one. It's revving. Let's move on to the Husqvarna. Up with the choke. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hang on, get some fuel through. What are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. All primed, all on, ready to go. And one, two. Oh, cough already. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's like what? The still. Oh, the still doesn't have a priming bulb on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up with a check. One, nine. There we go. Now for the echo. Oh, yes. Prime till we get some fuel. Fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And one, two, three. Oh, in with the choke. Four, five. <laughs> so the good news is they all started straight out of the box and, well, to be quite honest, they all sound a little bit flat, so they need a tune. But anyway, let's look at the graph and see how well they started. So there we have it, the Husqvarna 440 starting in three pools and the budget chainsaw starting on 11 pools. Ha, <laughs> interesting. Yes, that's right. James has done the fun bit. He started the saws up and run them in. I've done the technical bit and given them a tune up. And now we're going to move on to the taco test and check their speeds. So that's right, the results are in. The Husqvarna still and budget saws are pretty similar, but look at the Echo running in at 8790 revolutions per minute. Yeehaw! This video is sponsored by Hayes Machinery. Hayes Machinery sell garden machinery, ATVs, power tools, and trailers. Check out their website, www.hayesmachinery.co.uk. Thanks for watching. And now let's move over to the first cutting test. So we've done the start test, then the taco test. Now we're gonna do the cutting test, the one you've all been looking forward to. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut one inch slithers from this wood, one going down on each saw, and we'll see how it goes.
So coming in first place was a still MS231 with the budget chainsaw coming in last place almost twice as the time. Right, so now it's time for the fuel efficiency test. Yes, so we're gonna drain all the tanks on these from the other tests and then we're gonna put 50 mil of Aspen into each saw and see how many cuts of timber we can get out of each saw. Oh yes, let's do that, yes. <laughs> Right, so we've got five lengths of three by three, and I'm gonna cut all the way up through here until it runs out of fuel. Hopefully it runs out of fuel before I get to the end, which I'm presuming it will. Out. <laughs> there's fuel in there. Hang on. There isn't very much fuel in there, but the fuel filter's stuck at the top. Let's try her again. Are we on? Yeah. Three cuts left to go. There we go. I think that is going to be definitely out now. There is no juice left in it. Right, next saw. Empty of fuel. Right, it's now time for the steel. <laughs> no, she's out. She's out of fuel. Oh, there's dribbles. There's dribbles, but it wasn't sucking up anymore. No, she's out. She's out. Uh, again, little tiny dribble. Oh, there's a fuel pillar. Uh, dangly, dangly, dangly. <laughs> right, back to the studio. So that was a lot of cutting, and the Husqvarna 440 at 144, but the budget chainsaw, 142, very impressive. Right, guys, what did you think of the basic saw? Well, it really did compete really well, didn't it? It surprised me. It surprised really, me how, really good. how good it was, like, yeah. what you can get for that money. It yeah. was, yeah. You know, it's 84 quid what I paid for it. And it, it's basic, it's simple. It started quite yeah. well. I know it's a slower starter, but yeah. it still started well. Um, bad the points. Only, the only thing you run the risk of is obviously if you break something or you need a spare part, that's going to be your only downfall. And I think... It's, yeah, build quality is, is not the greatest on that saw, but, but that's what you expect. And the one thing I did not like about it was the vibration. Yeah. Vibration, vibration after cutting all those bits of wood that was uh, tingly hands. So, yeah. whereas you didn't get that from the others. No. Definitely a one yeah. cut wonder. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, one cut one, but like it. Right, Husqvarna. Husqvarna, everyone knows the brand. Good spare parts, availability, backup. It performed well, started well. Started well, started yeah, really yeah, well. Yeah, started really nice and easy, especially with that prime bulb on there, mm -hmm. it makes yeah. such a difference. I think once it's run in, as of all the saws, they would actually perform a lot better than yeah. they did in the test today, as does any engine once it's been running a little bit. Bad like points? Any bad points about, about the Husqvarna? Oh, there we go. Oh, no bad no, points. No Look bad at that. Points. All right, let's move on to the steel then. Any, any good point to the steel. What do you like about it? Oh, it's fastest cutting, wasn't yeah, it? So, going. well, a job yeah. done, done quickly. That is the sword to choose. Yeah. yeah. And it obviously didn't have a priming bulb on it, whereas the other ones had the priming bulb. So I think with the priming bulb on it, which you can get with the 251C, the comfort model, mm -hmm. it would make a big difference to the starting. And it yeah. probably would have come out on top of that test, possibly. Yeah. Who knows? But the build quality is good. It's yeah. where you need to be. Any down, downside? Hmm... Oh, there we go. No more downsides again. That's right, it. Echo, let's move on before they think of one. <laughs> Echo-wise, yeah, that's the only professional saw we've got here. Obviously, Husqvarna and Steel make professional saws as well. The Echo is the only professional one we've got here today. And its build quality is beautiful. And yeah. the vibration levels, it's just features. nothing. Yeah. It's yeah. proper professional vibration on it. It's, you know, there's just none. It's great. What else do you like about it? As soon as you got it in your hand, you just knew it was a pro saw, yeah. didn't you? You, you, know? can, you can use it all day yeah. and feel comfortable using it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a great saw. Definitely. Powered weight ratio. Everything about it is very, very nice. Yes, yeah, some of the others might have 
cut a little bit faster or start a little bit easier, but that saw's probably going to last you the longest yeah, out of these. Yeah. But no, great. I think they're all good saws, and for whatever reason you want to buy them, you'll probably find something within it to make your decision. You know, you might want something just for a one-time use, but again, the residual value is not going to be very good, or you want something that's going to be okay, or you want something that's going to be professional that you're going to use all the time. There's lots of different reasons why you'd buy a different saw. So I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. We are Machinery Nation. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. Cheers.